Here we are together again, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Why is there a different background here, you ask? Well, because I'm crammed into one area on my porch because, you know, it's totally normal that when it rains, we have to bail water off our porch. Don't you know nothing? Come on. Yeah, that's the scoop. I'm here um, in the only dry area. I have the rest of it covered up, basically. See? We have buckets. I have no clue what's in the frame here. None. Healing tree. Just things. But not the thing. Keep in mind. I haven't done a video since Saturday. I don't believe when I interviewed um, Gregory Blaine Anderson, known as 12th Soul. 12th Soul. That's how it's spelled. Uh, on the streets of Connie at Lake. So I thought, by God, I'm sure you're dying to hear from me. I really don't have much to report, ladies and gentlemen, at this time. Uh, canning is unfolding, scooping of, I keep want to, wanting to say melons, but it's spaghetti squash, not a melon, I just did that, and, you know, we're carrying out the, um, we are carrying out the festivities associated with harvesting the garden at this time, that's why I'm on, uh, break from the live gigs. Let me think of something, anything, thought of something, Blaine leaves Thursday, and we're gonna have a Probably some, a fireworks display and a ticker tape parade after he's gone. I'm kidding. I mean, he hasn't driven me crazy or anything because I don't really hang with him a whole lot. He's been here for months. I just get used to people being here and therefore I don't... I like the idea that people are here, but I just get a sense of comfort with them being here and I don't feel like we have to hang 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Like when Spencer's around in the old days when he would, you know, come home in between jobs and stuff. I would just get used to him being on the property, and then he'd leave, and I'd be kind of bummed. So, that's what I'm trying to say. Mother is so funny. She's... Oh, wait. i got to show you a windsock. I don't know if you can see it. There's more windsocks over there. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no clue what's in this frame. Mother cracks me up. She cracks Blaine up. They got me um, some to-go food tonight. For, well, actually, for perpetually on me. But I went over to get it a while ago. And it's sitting in a bag on the counter. And uh, I... I Picked it up, and she's like, now make sure, um, I hope you get your to-go food. Make sure that's yours. Like, no one else got to-go food. Whose else would it be? And so I kind of rolled my eyes. <laughs> and Blaney caught me, and he said, hey, I noticed you rolled your eyes. What's going on? And I said, it's mother. She just cracks me up. She's so concerned over everything. She's very concerned now that she's older. She's a concerned person. Like, he said, I know what you mean. She always, I hear all the time, you know, be careful. I'll watch out with that when he's using a butter knife or something. It's just... You know, let me get you something to put that food in or whatever when there's leftovers next door and I've already boxed it up. She's just, I can't really explain it or do it any justice, ladies and gentlemen. Take my word for it. It's cute. It's adorable. A tad irritating at times, but we're certainly glad she's around to irritate us now, aren't we? That's really all. That's all I'm going to get into today. I'm going to be um, uplifting and delightful, uh, even though I don't want to be. Okay, that's all. Just thought I'd drop in and say hi, really. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you. Thoughts today? Join me, join others. Let me sign off on something delightful other than me. Oh, you can see the smiley. Uh, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. I don't know if that's even in there. And remember, uh, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler when he had to say, I just remembered something, of course. Thomas. I'm going to show you how close I get to Thomas now. I just walk right up to him. I mean, I can walk right up to him. Here I am. Here's this plank. Do you see how close that is? Yeah. I just barge right up to him. What kind of upset me last night, though, is he was supposed to eat the slugs that are up there. They're, they're supposed to love slugs. He didn't care about the slugs, ladies and gentlemen. Really upsetting. I can't see. I need my glasses. So, at any rate, here at night, Thomas is involved. Zoe's in the window now grooming. And, um... I live for that possum. I totally live and breathe for him. Do you understand me? And he's the highlight of my evening. Especially when canning with Perpetual. <laughs> okay, I'm signing off. Love you, bye.